Our number one priority is company culture. And our whole belief is that if you get the culture right, most of the other stuff, like delivering great customer service or building long, a long-term enduring brand, will just happen naturally on its own. And our belief is that a company's culture and a company's brand are really just two sides of the same coin. The brand is just a lagging indicator of the culture. And if you think of, you know, ask random people about what they think of the airline industry as a whole, and usually you'll get back responses about bad customer service or apathetic employees and so on. And like it or not, that is the brand of the industry, even though no airline set out for that to be their brand. So we really focus on getting the culture right. So what are some of the things that we do to really help build our culture? Well, it starts with the hiring process. Everyone that's hired in our headquarters in Las Vegas, doesn't matter what position, you need accountant, lawyer, software developer, you go through the exact same training as our call center reps. One of the weeks is actually later on when we send you to Kentucky and you do all the different warehouse functions, picking, packing, shipping, receiving, and so on. But the first four weeks, before you start your actual job, we do call center training and we go over company history, the importance of company culture, our philosophy about customer service, and then you're actually on the phone for two weeks taking calls from customers. And the reason why we have everyone do that is because if we're serious about building our brand to be about the very best customer service and customer experience, then customer service shouldn't just be a department. It should be the entire company. And the other great thing about that is during our busy Q4 holiday season, which is uh, now coming up, people from all different departments can and do help out, and they hop on the phones and help answer the phone calls. So that means we don't need to hire temps that may be bad for our culture. We don't need to hire temps that may not deliver the same level of customer service that we're looking for. The other thing that we do is, uh, at the end of the training, we actually make an offer to the entire class. And the offer is this. We will pay you, uh, actually, it starts at the beginning of the end of the first week of training. They've been there for a week, and the offer is, we will pay you for that week you've spent training, plus a bonus of $2,000 to quit and leave the company right now. And that's a standing offer until the end of the training. And then we raise it to $3,000 and uh, extend it a couple months beyond that as well. And the reason we initially did this was because we didn't want employees that were there just for a paycheck. And starting pay in Las Vegas is $11 an hour. There's plenty of other uh, call centers there. And so it's a pretty significant amount of money. And on average, we found that actually about 2 or 3% of people end up taking the offer. The offer started several years ago at $100, and we actually keep upping the offer because we feel like not enough people are taking the offer. Um, <laughs> but what surprised us and what we didn't realize was that actually the biggest benefit came from the people who didn't take the offer because they still had to go home, talk to their friends and family, and ask themselves, is this a company that... I really believe in? Is this a company that I want to be a part of and whose culture I want to contribute to? And when they decide to turn down the easy money, what we found is that when they're back in the office on Monday, they're that much more passionate and engaged and, and, uh, and really that by far that's been the biggest benefit for us that we didn't even expect in doing that. But before someone gets started at Zappos, before they go through the training, we actually interview everyone in two sets of separate interviews. Uh, the first set of interviews for someone is kind of the standard stuff. The hiring manager and his or her team will interview for fit within the team, relevant experience, technical ability, and so on. But the second set of interviews is done by our HR department looking purely for culture fit. And they have to pass both in order to be hired. So we've passed on a lot of really smart, talented people that we know can make an immediate impact on our top or bottom line. But if they're not good for our culture, we won't hire them. And the reverse is true, too. Uh, we'll fire someone if they're bad for our culture, even if they're doing their specific job function perfectly fine, even if they're a superstar in their job function. Uh, if they're bad for the culture, we'll fire them just for that reason. And our performance reviews are 50% based on whether you're living and inspiring the Zappos culture and others. The uh, other thing we have is something called a culture book. And I'll make that freely available, uh, give you information later on about that. But it's something we put out once a year. And we ask all of our employees to write a few paragraphs about what the Zappos culture means to them 
And except for typos, it's unedited. So it includes the good and the bad, and it's organized by department. So you can kind of see how the accounting culture might be slightly different from the warehouse culture. So kind of like when you go to Amazon and you read customer reviews of products, these are essentially employee reviews of the company. We're also very active on Twitter. If you go to twitter.zappos.com, you can uh, see there's a page there. We have about 500 employees that are active on Twitter. We introduce every employee to Twitter during the training, and then it's up to them whether they want to continue using it. But then we have a page that aggregates all of the employee tweets together. And so the way that's helped our culture is you may not talk to that person that's three aisles down from you except for saying hi in the hallway. But through Twitter, you might find out that he went hiking over the weekend. And if you're also an avid hiker, now you have something to talk about, and you might go hiking together.